Let's budget my paycheck as a 40-something-year-old corporate girlie that would like to retire in eight years but has no retirement savings. I'm $95,000 in debt with 85000 of that being in student loan debt and 10000 being credit card debt that I'd like to pay off by the end of this year, but I don't know how to do that because I don't make enough money. That's right. I'm no longer $100,000 in debt. I'm only $95,000 in debt. Woohoo! Go me! We're working on it little bit by little bit. Any little bit counts. I am so proud of myself. Before we get into budgeting my paycheck, I have to fill y'all in on Halloween. It was so cute. I norm I wasn't gonna do anything, but I had texted my daughter like I don't because I couldn't I didn't know if like my son-in-law was working or not, or she was gonna be home alone or not with the grandbaby so I was like text me if you want to like do something this evening because I was thinking if he's working and then she's just home alone on her baby's first Halloween like how lame even though we can't trick-or-treat like let's do something fun to get out of the house and get him out of the house too he likes the outdoors he loves looking at trees. He loves bath time. He is a water baby. When you stick him in the bath water he, in his little bath chair, he goes kick, 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 and he's just kicking all over the place and smiling, and he loves it. So it's so cute, and he loves looking at all the trees and stuff like that when he's on his walks. So I was like, let's just get out of the house. So we ended. I ended up going to pick her up, and we just went downtown St. Pete, she got some food. I had already eaten dinner because, like, I, I wasn't planning on going out. It was just kind of something we decided last minute while I was talking to her on my after work dog walk with Scout. And we decided to go get something to eat and hang out. But I had already eaten. So I just took her to get something to eat. We hung out. My grandson dressed as a pumpkin. My daughter wore like this banana head costume. And then Scout has a banana costume. And I put her in it. And it was just so much fun. We just got to hang out for a few hours on Thursday night. I was very sleepy yesterday because I got home like past my bedtime. Which was okay. It's once in a lifetime. This is his first Halloween. And he will never have a first Halloween again. So it was just so much fun. We didn't, I didn't spend any money, but it was just so much fun to go out and hang out with them. Okay, so now let's get back into the budgeting of the paycheck part of the video. A couple of things just to go over before we actually budget. I am 42 years old. I live in the Tampa Bay area. I have a job that I am a salary employee at. I manage commercial real estate loans, basically. I don't know how else to explain that to just the person that does not understand that. I'm breaking it down simple terms. Let's see. What else? I have a car I paid off last year. I make $75,000 a year prior to any taxes. I have a dog. My kids are grown, so I'm an empty nester. And I think that's everything. Y'all, I have to tell y'all, my youngest daughter is about to join the army. That is so exciting. She just got sworn in and she is waiting for basic training, which I think she leaves out the last day of 2024 for. So exciting. I'm excited for her to be on this journey to becoming an adult and figuring out what she wants to do and who she wants to be in life. And I think the military is a great first step in life. And I support her 100%. I support both of my daughters 100% whatever they decide to do in life. So I'm really excited for her. And I can't wait to be at basic training graduation. I'm always going off on a side quest, of course. That's just how my brain works. I swear I have undiagnosed ADHD. I am a salary employee, like I said earlier in the video. I bring home after tax $2,150.59. I did get some money from an Amazon storefront. I got $20.98. So all in total, I brought home $2,171.57 after tax. 
And now it's time to get into how I'm going to spend that money. So exciting. It's time to pay rent again. Rent is $1,613.95. So we will be paying for that. I have a couple of businesses that I never actually filed the papers to dissolve them. So I need to file that and I think it's $30 per business. So I need to send in $60 and then pay for postage. So I am budgeting $64 for that. Car insurance, let's chat about that for a minute. I have Brightway car insurance. I just paid my last premium. I am not going with the renewal because it's currently $287.34 every month. And the next premium is like $300 something dollars. Absolutely not. I figured out that it was overinsured. I had the highest amount of coverage for my vehicle. And I was like, you know what? I don't. I know I live in Florida. Don't get me wrong. And I should probably have really good insurance. But currently that's just, it just seemed like excessive for me. So I dropped it down a couple of, I dropped it down a a bar or two. So I went ahead and switched my car insurance this week. And so I went ahead and had to pay the premium for the first month. I think it's, they said it was a deposit, but I think it goes towards my six months of premiums because it said I owe this and then I owe five more months. So I think this is just my first month premium and I had to go ahead and pay it. And normally I don't pay my car insurance out of this paycheck, but I was like, I need to just do this peace of mind to get this out of the way because it is quite the hassle to just cancel a car insurance. Like at least with Brightway car insurance, that's who I currently have. I had to like go online and look at where how to find the email I emailed them that I wanted to cancel it took a, like a few days for them to email me back with like what the next step score I had to go and like fill out a link with my information saying what day I wanted to cancel on and my policy number stuff like that and then now I have to sign a document and I have to attend it's like on a DocuSign thing and I have to attach my new car insurance before I can cancel the one that I have. I mean, I've already sent, done everything. I just need to sign this document. So I had to go ahead and go get my new car insurance. And the way I found out some newer rates, I guess some lower rates, if you want to say, is I have an Experian account. It's just the free account. I know you can upgrade to like, a membership and pay, I don't know, $15 a month or something. But I just, I don't feel any need to have a paid for Experian account. I do everything that I need to do on my free version. I've actually had to dispute a few things that was on my credit report at one time. So I love having my Experian account for that. I know some people use like Credit Karma. So Experian has this one thing where you can do like get car insurance quotes. So I went ahead and did that. And I am moving to Progressive, which is basically going to be $100 less a month. But I went ahead and paid for the first month's premium because you have to do that when you switch over. So I am budgeting $185.54 for that first month's premium. Scout needs more food. If you've been watching my little morning vlogs that I make of my morning routine, and I used up all her food yesterday morning. But luckily, I had ordered food a couple of days before. So we got here yesterday. And she had plenty of food for her evening meals. She gets two dinners because she doesn't get a lunch. So she gets three meals a day. She gets a breakfast and two dinners. Because my girl loves to eat. And we had to re-up on her treats and her joint supplements. So I budgeted $119.82 for a Scout. Groceries, I always budget $120 a week. 
so $240 for the pay period and then $50 a week for gas and that makes it $100 for the next two weeks of gas. And I'm budgeting $50 in miscellaneous. I'm going to plug $50 in there. I can't think of anything that I really need. I know that I have to pay like my Apple Care subscription, which I think is like $2.99 or $1.99 is for extra storage so that we have room for videos and photos. And I can't think of anything else. My daughter and I haven't planned to go out to eat. But on the rare occasion, sometimes I need a little quick bite while I'm over there to get me back home or to get me to all the things that we need to do. I do try to eat before I leave if I have time and if I have food. Because on the weekends, if I haven't grocery shopped on Friday or Saturday, normally I don't have much food over the weekends until Sunday when I grocery shopped grocery shop I did grocery shop last night so I think I'll be able to make something at home to eat here before I go hang out with them today and tomorrow so I should be okay but I wanted to give myself $50 just in case I needed to do something so now all of my expenses is $2,000 $373.31. And if you were doing the math and following along, I am budgeting for more expenses than I am bringing home. I'm only bringing home $2,171.57 with my paycheck and my Amazon storefront money. So uh, luckily for me, I always keep money in savings currently or like in my checking account for like emergencies or if I have to spend over like normally I wouldn't have to spend over this paycheck but because of the car insurance and scouts food coming out of this paycheck and my rent those are three really big expenses then those that I'm just gonna have to spend over so currently in my bank account with my paycheck and my social media money that I got from my Amazon storefront I have $4,000 in my bank account right now. So once I take that $4,000 and I just took that because it already includes my paycheck and I minus out my $2,373.31 my $2, of expenses, I am left with $1,632.60 in my bank account as like my little emergency fund. I save that for like emergency vet visits or just situations like this because I am over. I like once I take my my income minus my expenses, I am over by two hundred and twenty two dollars and seventy two cents. So I am going to be dipping into my pay like my little emergency fund that I have in my bank account. So at least I will be left over with quite a bit of money. And what I will try to do is eat some PB&Js and stuff like that so I can cut down on the grocery bill. And maybe, just maybe if I can work it out quite, kind of good and I don't use mis much of that miscellaneous and I don't use all of that grocery money and I don't use all of that gas money, maybe we will break even and I won't actually go over. This is just what I'm budgeting and hopefully I won't spend all of that. Some of that is already spent. Like I paid my rent this morning and stuff like that. And we will go over all of that in my weekly bank account audit that I go over on Sunday. So stay tuned for that video. But that is everything for this pay period. Okay, I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.